Madrid. Exploring Madrid over several years helped me choose settings for certain scenes. I scouted around the former Inclusa, the enormous orphanage in Madrid, and I imagined the countless infants and children who passed through, and the young women like Puri who worked there. I was left with so many questions. Did the children ever reunite with their parents? Will the issue of stolen children ever be formally acknowledged? I fell in love with the Soroya Museum. I spent hours and hours on a bench in the courtyard garden, listening to the fountains and drafting scenes and dialogue between Daniel and Anna. I was trying to decide, could I bring them together at the end of the book or would I have to keep them apart? The courtyard at the Soroya Museum explores the beauties and complexities of nature and human natures, and it also answers the question of whether I bring them together or keep them apart at the end of the book. The apartment that I rented in Madrid, it was close to the Prado Museum and Retiro Park, and as I wandered through Retiro Park day after day, I thought about historical memory and its impact on our identity. Lardi, the owners of the restaurant Lardi, they welcomed me for research. Lardi has been operating in Madrid since 1839. And when I'm inside of Lardi, the walls of Lardi hold stories of the Queen's court, Matahari, dictators, dynasties, and countless travelers and Spanish families. The mirror at Lardi is said to be magic, that upon looking in the mirror, we vanish into eternity. It made me think of hidden history and whether hidden history is truly lost or if it's only hiding, captured in a mirror somewhere. I chose Lardi as an anchor between Anna and Daniel because it represents both history and memory, found and forgotten. Lardy holds the memories of thousands of celebrations, untold secrets, scheming plots, and tearful sorrows. Daniel's parents confess a secret at Lardy, and as Daniel waits for Anna, sitting at a table at Lardy, all of his emotions and recollections from Madrid flood back to him, memories that remain with him for years memories and feelings that speak so loudly he finds them impossible to forget.